The day after the one coat of prime coat. Um, what I was talking about when I said it looks like all the cracks in the previous video, I think I showed right along here. Um, all the little crazing type cracks, hairline cracks that used to be. They really filled everything in pretty well. So I think I'm just going to stay with the one coat. Uh, it says to uh, sand it with uh, 110 grit. I think I'm just going to hand sand it. I got 110 grit here. Give it a quick hand sand. Alright, just finished sanding down the uh, prime coat. I uh, then vacuumed it off. That seems to have done a good job. There's not really any, I can't really feel anything left. That vacuum does a good job and my random orbital with the vacuum attachment doesn't leave much to behind to begin with. Uh, I went through and got all the corners by hand, but um, so what I was uh, planning on doing today is Wednesday, uh, July 13th, maybe something in there. Um, the weather forecast had Thursday and Friday as better days as far as humidity goes, but uh, that's changed. Um, Friday's looking like rain and higher humidity, and it is about noon, one o'clock right now, and I finished all this. Um, and I got my little humidistat here. It's, uh, it's down to 66% humidity now, and I checked the forecast. It's supposed to stay down there until the middle of the night and then be down again tomorrow morning. So I might put the first coat on right now um, and do the second coat tomorrow All morning. Right. Interlux Perfection two-part paint. Uh, the one quart size mixed together. Got some thinner if I need it. Foam roller. It's supposed to be able to work with that stuff. Good bristle brush. Respirator. We got 60% humidity, 82 degrees. The fan is off right now, just so you can hear me. It's being turned back on right after I stopped filming. And here we go. I got, uh, you can't see it, up on the uh, front deck, I got another quart of the uh, Perfection, along with a mixing bucket and everything needed for, uh, I don't think one quart's gonna go off the whole deck. Hopefully two will. I've only got four for two coats total, so here we go. Just barely enough. Two quarts, two and a half quarts would have been perfect. I really made this last section up front here pretty thin. This is up on the Ford deck, waiting for. Um, I'm gonna make it about halfway. So I'm about, this is all mixed up for the back half of the boat. Get that done, come up here, mix up for the front half, and a little snack in between. All right, getting ready for the second coat of Interlux Perfection two-part paint. Um, I think I, I forgot to mention, the rollers that I was using, they got those Wooster foam rollers. Uh, after a while they did deteriorate so I have now I'm gonna try I had these West system 
to see if that works. I'm pretty sure those will hold up. I don't know how well they work, so we'll give it a shot. I can go back to the Wooster. I have a whole bunch of them, so I just, I'll just i just have to make sure to change them out before they start deteriorating. Um, but as far as the finish goes, I think pretty good. I mean, if you, if you look, there's lots of wobbly, uneven crap, but oh, that's only in the areas where there's going to be kiwi grip down. All these areas that are not going to be came out real nice. So uh, one more coat. We should be looking pretty good. And as far as the weather goes, we are at 62% humidity. So it can't be over 80, so that's good. And then 84 degrees, that sucks, but gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, fan is off right now, just so you can hear me, but I will be turning that back on as soon as I hit pause. So here we go. Turn the music up, get the fan on, get this done. All right, so that is one coat of Prime Coat, um, two coats of Interlux Epoxy, or Interlux two-part, I think it's a polyurethane. That uh, came out really well. Um, I mean, there's, there's lots of defects in the surface, but all this is gonna be covered by uh, Kiwi Grip, so I'm not really concerned. Some of these areas like this, I think, came out really well. Um, some 400 grit wet wet paper will take down a couple of the little little bumps, little tiny dust type things. But for the most part, I think it looks really good. Uh, I gotta take off the take off the tape and we'll see how she looks. Um, need to wait a minimum of three days before I can do the kiwi grip. I'm just gonna that's my work phone keeps going off. I took this week off took this week off to do the. Uh, the paint job and uh, it's been been interesting and if I can get the outboard anytime soon I'll start this project but in the meantime uh, I find a few other things to do all the tapes off making it very obvious I need to refinish these combings and the cap rail but that's just gonna have to wait for now so there we go I think I'm gonna wait on the um, kiwi grip until uh, maybe one of the last things I do before I uh, move her back to the water because this uh, this smooth stuff is going to be pretty easy to keep clean and I'm going to be I'm going to be doing a lot of work in there. There, I might as well not put on the kiwi grip. That makes it real difficult to keep clean compared to this stuff. At least sitting where we are because I can't use a hose up here yet. Because I have all kinds of openings in this boat, so I mean it's not a professional job, but I'm happy with it, and it looks pretty solid. So, next step now, um, I did not have enough paint to do the hatches, uh, so I think, and, and I also was going to spend some time um, sanding and. It looks like there's going to be some patchwork needed on those. So I think I may just leave those for a winter project since I can do that uh, in the basement. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to leave the tarp on. I did change the tarp. There's a new tarp on here. So uh, I'm just going to leave it on uh, another season and work on those hatches over the winter along with some other stuff. I got a, uh, I got a, bilge, a hand bilge pump here that I bought a rebuild kit for. I still got to do that. So I got lots of stuff to do over the winter. But I'm going to move now. My original plan for the boat was start at the top, get that water tight, and then go down to the bilge. So I got to open up the bilge all the way, clean it up, and seal it because I had water infiltration in the encapsulated keel that did a freeze thaw and put a crack in the keel. So I'm trying to get any 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 way of water getting into that keel done. So next step is going to be opening up that bilge. So. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We'll see where I am at that point. Bye.